Hey guys, Native Instruments just released Electric Mint and of course it's a guitar, of course it's a Strat, it's a 1960 Strat. I'm going to give you a lot of the sound demos but this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm trying a new format, it's going to be like a speed review. So I'm going to go through a lot of stuff very quickly and then leave uh, you know, a lot of time for going through the presets. So let me know in the comments, what do you think? And if I missed anything, if you have questions or anything like that, just let me know again in the comments and you're most welcome to join my Discord server, the Plugin Academy. I'm gonna put the links for everything in the description of this video. Let's get started. Right, so we have two kinds of presets. We have the regular ones, the patterns, and then we have the melodies. And melody meaning you play the notes and the patterns, of course, we have baked in patterns, but you can tweak a lot of stuff here. We also can drag and drop some stuff to our sessions, to our dough. I'm gonna show you that in a moment. So what we have right now, I have the first preset loaded. That's the eight toolbox and we have key switches. So on C1, we have this plane. And if I'll switch to C sharp one, or the next one, and you can use the keyboard. We have the keys mapped and you can just use your left hand and switch those. If you have, like me, complete control, you'll see the uh, LEDs lights, the red ones, and you can just flick those as you play. But we also have endings. These are the purple ones. And we have some slides things like that. So pretty cool. But let's dive into the sound character of uh, the preset. So we have the patterns that comes with the preset. Then we have the guitar settings. This is where you can find the pickup selection. You'll find electrical signal noises, miking, muted notes, noise, tuning, things like that. Pretty uh, easy to uh, kind of tweak. Then we have the amp and effects. So here you can load different effects and different amp and cabinets. And the way it goes, you can just uh, hover on top of those, rearrange them as you wish. And if you want to change anything, very easy. Just click on the, uh, the title here and you'll get the selection of uh, different uh, distortion, modulation, studio effects and so on. And then we also have amp and cabs on the bottom. So I'm sure you get the idea. It's very easy and I can just select anything here. And then on the uh, bottom part, you'll see the control. So if I'll click, let's say the cabinets here, you'll see the control for that. I'll go with the IR reverb. You'll get the controls there. You can change the type and so on. Again, very straightforward. And finally, we have the playback. And here you can tweak how things are played. So we have uh, humanizing, uh, quantizing, or uh, original, like it was recorded. We have swing, feel, shift, things like that. Let's go back to the patterns and see some more things you can do. And I'm going to switch to another preset just so we'll have something interesting. So I'm going to go with a uh, cab driver. Right, but what exactly is going on here? So if we'll go into this magnifying glass, we'll see that we have a selection of phrases. So basically each of those presets is made uh, out of collection of those phrases. And we have uh, three types. We have strumming, we have arpeggios, and we have uh, phrases that are played or uh, patterns. And we also have chord progressions. So I'm gonna close this and you can see the progression right here. So let's, let's just audition that. Right, and it will keep on playing, but you can set the key. Just click this uh, 
letter here, the key, and drag up and down, and there you go, you can change that. And of course, whenever you see this symbol here, this uh, sort of uh, cross, we can click, drag, and drop it to our DAW, to our session. So I'm going to do that right now. Right, very cool. But we also have some other stuff that we can drag and drop into our uh, session. And these are, for example, the, RT, I mean, the, the playing voicing. So I can change the voicing and just drag that as well right here. And you'll see this uh, uh, chord. Right, and then you can transpose that and you can copy and manipulate that. So, back into our plugin here, let's have a quick look at the melodies. And I'm going to just load one of those. And that will be a dual kind of thing. So, on the left here, we have the melody, but on the right, we have the pattern. So, basically, you can play this. Um, with two hands and you can combine the patterns and strumming together with some uh, melodic uh, playing. Of course, uh, if you're playing this live, that's one thing. If you're programming, that's another thing. So uh, you, you need a little bit of uh, practice and skill to play this live, but it is absolutely possible. So uh, on the keyboard, again, we have the uh, key switches. So you can see the yellow ones just go... Uh, with the melodies and then we have the patterns but notice that when I go with the patterns when I lift my finger from the keyboard it will go back to melody so I can just play something So that, that's the kind of thing I need to practice, of course, but you get the idea. So you can play something melodic, then uh, combine that with uh, uh, some uh, pattern or something or strumming and uh, go back as you uh, go. So there's other things that you need to know. For example, right now we are on poly, meaning we can play several notes at a time. Right, and I can go with mono. Right, a little bit more realistic, uh, but you, you can't really play chords. Let's try another one of those melodies. Right, and another one. Right, so I can combine those. And, well, we have some more stuff that we can do. We can uh, change the sound preset. So, for example, I have this sound right now. But I can go right here and click this drop down and you'll see a lot of choices. So I can go with uh, Smoky Twang. And what it actually does is, and I'll, I'll show you, well, let's go with the amp and effects here. So when I change this, it will change the amp and the effect. So if you find something you like, like phrases, you get a preset that you feel comfortable with, you can change how it sounds and that's done with the sound preset. We also have some other things that we can do. Let's go uh, back into 
a phrase kind of uh, preset. Right, and we have some things that you can do with the mod wheel and with the pitch wheel. So uh, this will be vibrato. Right, so that's the kind of thing that you can do with the mod wheel and the pitch wheel. And that is basically what I wanted to show you real quick. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions because I'm sure I've skipped some things, but I'm gonna leave this video with the demo of all the presets. And I'm running on uh, something like 100 BPM. So it's gonna be somewhere in the middle. Now there's a lot of information in the user manual. So many times people watch my videos and they, uh, they ask me questions. I'm really happy to read the manual for you guys, but uh, I mean, check the manual. There's an online manual. You don't need to download anything and all the information is there, but you can join the Discord server, my plugin academy Discord server, and we can talk about this plugin or anything else by Native Instruments or anything else that I cover. And uh, there are other members of the community and I'm really, really happy to see that community growing up. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep it up and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.